a few minutes to minister the word of God to you. Shall we raise our hands in prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace that is at work in our lives. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, our strengthener, our standby. Even now, our hearts and our spirits are ready to receive your word, for your word is truth. Your word is truth. Manta kababa ashali zele gebaska. Your word is truth. Manta ashali karata le kos kafradi gaba. Man shan safragira des. Your ah, your word is truth. Manta kabale do zayari ganda kita des. Your word is truth. Manta kabashale kos zayari ganda. Mero tale kreto jazi zili bonza brade des. Your ah Kabarakata kale kozoro riga banda rigaska rare o sale paraka panzo pina saya your word is truth oh so prare to saha rake do bonza brare do sali grate kira danza brare your word aya sale kozaha oh hallelujah father speak to us this morning speak to us and guide us in truth your word is truth. The mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May you please take your seats for a moment. May I have and a better sound like the sound I was having on the handheld. How are you doing? You're looking fantastic. Look at your neighbor. Tell them like it's you telling them. And technically it's you telling them. That you look very different. There's something about you. You are glowing. Is, is it the lotion? What, what is it? You, you are so glowing. You really do. Praise God. All come to the month of truth. This is the month of truth. I said this is the month of truth. So I have a few minutes to share with you something quick. Pastor told us that this is the month of truth. Can I have Psalm 119 verse 160 on the screen? If I can have amplified... 119 verse 160 amplified. Shall we have it quick on the screen? It reads, The psalm word of the psalm of your word is truth. The total of the full meaning of all your individual precepts, and every one of your righteous decrees endures forever. So he says, Your word is truth. The word of God is truth. In other words, there's no confusion. And neither are we going to get into the contemporary dictionary to find the meaning of truth. This is finished and clear. The word of God is truth. I said the word of God is truth. Anything that is not the word of God is not truth. Amen. Sometimes in the B to preach and make sense to our audience, we often come up with terms like there's a difference between effect and truth. Well, there's only a lie and truth. That's all I know. And only one truth. It is the word of God. Amen. I say only one truth Amen. is the word of God. I say the word of God is truth. The word of God is truth. Man toka barata la baraba. I say the word of God is truth. Only the word of God is truth. No other information can be certified 
or anybody claim that that thing is truth. Only the word of God is truth. Make up your mind this month that from now on you only hear the truth. You only see the truth. You only believe the truth. And you only walk in truth. I'll repeat it again. I say make up your mind this month that you only hear the truth. You only see the truth. You only believe the truth. And you only walk in truth. Are you hearing me somebody? John 17, 17. Can I have King James and then you give us partial translation. The word is truth. And then it says sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. This is the Lord Jesus talking. His prayer in John 17. He says sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. To sanctify means to separate. To make holy. To distinguish. The thing that makes you distinguish among the masses as a Christian is not anything but the truth. Amen. The Bible says you are not of this world. But that's not for you to claim. That's for the truth to validate your claim. Because when the truth comes on you and sanctifies you, everything concerning you will reflect that you are really not of this world. When the world is going left, you're going right. When men are cast down, you say there's a lifting up. I say the truth separates you. I say the truth I say the truth separates you. The truth it sanctifies you. So he says sanctify them through that truth. The truth separates you. Distinguishes you. That's what the truth does. So, the things proclaimed in the word concerning the uniqueness of our identity. For Apostle Peter said, you are a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. That peculiarity is a resultant effect of the sanctification process brought to you by the truth you have imbibed. More truth, more peculiarity. More truth, more distinction. Are you hearing me? So truth changes you. Truth sanctifies you. Truth separates you. Truth establishes you. Hallelujah. In fact, if we look deeper, when you got born again, you didn't drink something. Did you swallow something for Christ to enter into you? It was based on the truth you believed. Can I have James 1.18, please, on the screen? <clears throat> Can I have King James, please? What does he say? Of his own will be God, he asked with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So the word of truth when it came upon you, you heard it and you believed it. It produced a new you. Amen. Amplified is beautiful. Put it up on the screen. Beautiful, beautiful. And it was of his own free will that he gave birth. He gave us birth as sons by his word of truth. So you were born of truth. You are a child of truth. Truth gave birth to you. So when we proclaim if any man is in Christ, based on 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if any man is Christ as a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. We are simply testifying the efficacy of God's truth. Amen. That by his truth in my life, I became a new creature. Amen. A new creation. Can you shout amen? amen? So he says, 
We were given birth to. We were recreated. We were born again. Not because we did push-ups. Not because we were flogged. Not because we ate something and it entered us. No. By the word of truth, God was able to recreate us on the inside. Christ came and made his abode in our hearts. How? By the word of truth. How? By the word of truth. How? By the word of truth. It was the word of truth you had. It was preached to you. You received it. You believed it. And it produced a new you. Can you shout amen? somebody by the word of truth how powerful is this word of truth it produces you all glory to God so we neither drank something neither we ate something but we received words and the words produced the new creation. How powerful is the truth? Galatians chapter 3 verse 1 to 2. Can I have good news translation? Are, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Shall we read it together? Want to go? You, you foolish Galatians. Nobody is anybody from Galatia here, so that's not you. Please uh, don't take it personal. So, want to go, you foolish Galatians, who put a spell on you before your very eyes? You had a clear description of the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Next verse, want to go? Tell me this one thing did you receive God's spirit by doing what the law requires? Or by hearing the gospel and believing it. Did you hear that? How did you receive the Holy Ghost? The same way you received Christ. You heard. And when you heard, you believed. And the Holy Ghost came. Amen. So the gospel was preached to you. You heard it. You received it. And the Holy Ghost came to be part of your life. Ephesians 1.13 We're getting somewhere. Ephesians 1 13, please. It says, In whom you also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth. What did you hear? I can't hear you. In fact, let's read this together. I want to go. In whom you also trusted, after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In home also, after that, you believed. You were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. In case you were not clear about what Galatians is talking about, here we get, you know, very authentic confirmation that it was what you believed when you heard it that got you to receive the Holy Ghost. So truth made you receive the Holy Ghost. The emergence and availability of truth that you heard and you believed. Created an entrance for the Holy Spirit to come in. It means the opposite is true. Devils are attracted by every lie you hear. If truth could open the Holy Ghost to come and stay in your life. How many devils can also come and stay in a man's heart? Because of the lie they had. The Bible says that we are no longer tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. This is the month where you, today you are happy, tomorrow you are sad. Tomorrow you know you are doing well. And then the next day you wonder what your life is all about. You are not about to get confused. Why? Because you are choosing to walk in the truth, to hear only the truth. No lies for you. I say no lies for you. That cancer is lying. I say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I say that cancer is lying. When you went to the doctor, he gave you an account of the symptoms you have and said you have A, B, C, and D. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that you got was information. Don't believe that lie. Because when you believe it, you attract the devils that are coming with it. Don't just say, I don't know why my life is like this. Don't trust what you feel. Even if you are feeling low, it is not depression. Because the moment you say it is depression, that lie will attract devils. Indeed, depression will come upon you. The joy of the Lord is my strength. He has given me a garment of praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. Did you know depression is a spirit of heaviness? I say refuse it. It is a lie. I'm a happy person. I, I, I say I'm a happy person. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am happy. Don't believe a lie. I say don't
don't believe a lie. So many people are going to a psychiatrist every day because they are saying they're depressed. You cannot be depressed. That's a lie of the devil. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I said the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy. I said the joy. The joy. Your mood cannot be up and down. I'm full of joy. Bad news, good news, it makes no difference. I say I'm full of joy. I am full of joy. I'm full of joy. Now, I'm still trying to explain and establish a, a, a fact, a concept. Here you are. You are not particular about what you hear. You find yourself in the public domain consuming every nonsense that people talk about the economy, health, talk about you. Some of the lies are coming to you. You feel like you are not beautiful. I don't know who told you that. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> Just because you don't use Nivea doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make you ugly. I, 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 are you getting what I'm saying? In no time, devils who actually make you, do you know there are people who are beautiful on the outside, but nobody notices it because the devil has created a shroud of ugly because they think they are ugly. Nobody in this place is ugly and you have no right to call yourself ugly. Everyone, you are beautiful inside and out. Say, but pass on my character. The Bible says you are the righteousness of God. The moment you believe you are not good, the devils that makes what you do come, they'll come and settle and you begin to do worse, begin to speak righteousness, you begin to talk righteous, you begin to do righteous, you're walking in truth, can I hear an amen somebody? Here you are, you're embarking lies. They say the economy is going down. Down? That's a lie. When men are cast down, I, I, I say when men are cast down. Why? Because they don't know the truth. You can't be cast down. Because you know the truth. Because we know the truth. The Bible says what then shall we say to these things? When men are cast down, we shall say there is a lifting up. I say we shall say there is a lifting up. We shall say. These are the days to rise up. We say there's a lifting up. What makes us different? Because the truth in us has sanctified us. We swim upstream. We go against the currents. We're not tossed to and fro by every wind of influence. We are the eagles. We are bored when there's no storm. When the storm is raging, every bird goes hampering and scattering to hide. But we come out to play. I say, this is you. The truth has distinguished you. Can you shout amen, somebody? People are tormented by demonic influence. Because of the lies that the devil peddled. The Holy Ghost came to live in us because of truth. It also means devils can come and influence your life because of lies. Amen. Lies have a father. His name is the devil. People don't know that every lie has a spiritual origin with a spiritual intention. And if you're not careful, you see the spiritual results. I refuse that for you this month and every other month from this day. For you, it's truth only. I say it's truth only. I, I say it's truth only. It is true. Tell me, but it is truth only. Truth only. No lies. Never find yourself say I can't. Never find yourself say I don't know. Never say I, 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 I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm not able. You are able. You can. You are powerful. You are bold. You are loving. You are righteous. You are patient. You are kind. That's who you are. And you are filthy rich. I say you are stinking rich. You are not saying it. I say you are stinking rich. 
I say you are you are you are stinking rich you. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was rich yet for your sakes. He became poor so that we may be rich. So the present our reality is I'm rich. Everything says otherwise is a lie. FNB can say you have zero money. That's a lie. The bank manager can say you don't qualify for this. That's a lie. Your landlord is saying pay rent. That's a lie. You own this world. Ay, 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 ay. Hey! Why are Christians not taking over? Why are they not taking their inheritance? Because we are seated on the fence. Sometimes you consider lies. Sometimes you consider truth. So here and there, we are vacillating between faith and unbelief. No, I have faith. It doesn't change anything. I know who I am. The world is mine. Everything is mine. I'm a success. I'm the head and I'm not the tail. I will never believe any lie. No, no, no. No lies for you. No lies for me. No lies concerning your health. Symptoms that the doctor diagnoses is what we call spiritually temptations. The devil cannot influence your life except with your help. You have to believe in what he can do. Now you go to the doctor and then Maybe they're wearing big goggles and like, hmm, it really looks bad. First of all, you were so scared to go. And why were you going? Because if the truth is the word, what are you going to find out there? <laughs> we already have the truth. So who can tell you? Do you think the doctor will read the Bible to you? And say Isaiah 53, verse 5. This is the prescription. He was wounded for your transgression. And then he was bruised for iniquities and then chastisement. And then he tells you, take this chastisement pills three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three in the evening. They'll tell you you are dying. You went in bouncing. And then you come in like, Eloi, Eloi. La basa batalai. Pastor, where are you? You have my tithe records. Why is this happening to me? What's the issue? Truth lies. Just you. Make up your mind. Only the truth. The truth concerning your health. Pastor Chris gave us his own testimony that one time he was not feeling well. They even took him to the hospital, but they couldn't make him say you were sick. No, he said, no, I'm not sick. They said, no, but you are sick. He said, no. They said, but I said, no, I'm not sick. You don't get it. You could be having a big boil. God forbid, don't have it. But it shouldn't change your testimony. Right now, you see sweat, right? I'm not sweating. Where? Where is the sweat? I said, Where? <laughs> This is the glory of the Lord. <laughs> Give the Lord a shout of praise, somebody. Ah! So, the point I'm trying to establish, understand spiritual principles. There are things we do without getting fully informed. And then we are putting spanners in our own engines. Working against ourselves. It could be your family. You believe lies concerning your spouse and your house becomes World War VI. The devil is now buying popcorn to watch. He will tell other devils, this one is a special new edition. This is season six. <laughs> episode seven. Normally he chokes it, but I don't know what's coming this time. And then somebody says, yeah, you know, you people are not good. The Bible says, from henceforth, we know no man after the flesh. We used to know Christ, but he didn't benefit us. You are a new creation. We don't refer to you based on what you were. We refer to you based on what Christ did. We walk in truth. I said we walk in truth. 
when a person believes a lie, they can get so influenced by devils that even God can help them. It could be a lie about church. It could be a lie about their cell leader, their pastor, anything. They can be changed because it's not what they had. It is the devils they attracted because of what they had. I want you to walk in truth this month and every other month. You will be a happy person. Truth and lies can play games with your health. You wake up, you're feeling somehow. Fear comes in. You say, I don't know, I'm not sure really how I'm feeling, but when I Googled, <laughs> stop Googling from today. Tell them, but don't Google. Godly, don't Google. So when I Googled, these are the symptoms they say when you have this. It's diabetes. Pastor, where are you? I think I have diabetes. The demon of diabetes was in Hawaii having holiday. But you call this name. So you go like, who's calling me? I'm coming. And then it comes and makes its residence when there was nothing. How many times people have gone to the hospital, they got diagnosed, they thought they were so sick, and then discovered that there was nothing. You were, you were grazed because that devil didn't hear you. Because they come, you attract them unknowingly. Never say, I'm sick. In Zion, they shall not say they are sick. Say it again, say in Zion. They shall not say they are sick. No, don't say... We, that's what they say in Christ. But no, that's truth. Amen. Sickness is a lie. Hallelujah. Truth is your health. Amen. Say sickness is, sickness is a lie. Truth is that I'm healthy. So people say, okay, I need healing. No, if you understand truth, you walk in complete health. It's the same with finances. So take us back. I want to conclude now. Ephesians 1, 13. Let's read it together. And you also became God's people when you heard the message. No, King James is fine. What does he say? You also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom you also after that you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So hear the truth and only spiritual things that are good will happen. Don't give a foothold to the devil. Raise your hands and speak in tongues there. And the next verse. I want to give you three verses. We'll call it a morning. First Thessalonians 2.13. Message. Can we read it together? And now, we look back on all these and thank God and our teaching, well of thanks. When you got the message of God we preached, you didn't pass it off as just one more human opinion, but you took it to heart as God's true word to you, which it is, God himself at work in you, believers. So he says, you took the word as truth. Give me TLB, what is coming? Lies may come through the media. That's why media is the number one tool that the devil uses. Right now they are peddling catastrophe so that they create an impression of chaos in all our minds and people are ever panicking. Things are not what they seem to be. And the church is in control. Believe it. We are in charge. Are you hearing me? Sometimes lies can come through you as a little voice that is telling you you can't, you're not good enough, you are no good, and reminds you of all the blunders you ever made, and you are half, if not quarter confident to do what you thought you were going to do. For example, in soccer, players get injured. 
Sometimes somebody can get a ligament that is torn or a muscle tear. They can heal physically, but unless they heal mentally, they will never be confident again. You got to silence every little word and voice in your head. You are the best the world has ever seen. You are able, you are righteous, you are holy, you are good, you are like Christ, you are the righteousness of God. You are able and bold. Why am I saying this? Because this is what the word says. And as I'm talking to you, you believe it, and it changes your life. That's what he says. And we'll never stop thanking God for this, that when we preach to you, you didn't think of the words we spoke as being just our own. But you accepted what we said as the very word of God. And what happened, which of course it was, and what happened when you believed it, it changed your life. Are you hearing me? It changed your life. John 15, 3. I just have two scriptures to read. John 15, 3. It changed your life. Change your life. What does he say? Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Did you know just availing and subjecting yourself to the ministration of the word, there is cleansing. When you take clothes and put them in a washing machine, you put the detergent powder. The clothes have no say. They get washed. So right now, you are in the washing machine of God. That's why we can safely claim that you are better than the way you came. You live better. Because as you are subjecting yourself to the ministration, you are being cleansed. Are you getting the idea? So you can schedule to get some cleansing every morning. Get some headphones, put Pastor Chris on. And then tell your neighbor, I'm getting some brainwashing. Ah, oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> Say, I'm being cleansed. I'm being cleansed of fear. I'm being cleansed of mediocrity. I'm being cleansed of failure. He says, you are clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. So, as the word is coming, cleansing is taking place. Cleansing is taking place. As you are listening to pastor, cleansing is taking place. In no time, See, then hobbies begin, they, they get off you. See, then tendencies just get disabled. You cannot talk right. You cannot walk right. You cannot think right. There are certain things I can't say. But back in the day, I will say them 10,000 times a day. How did it change? I don't know. Just like when you're growing up, you can't tell you're growing. Just like when you're gaining weight, you can't tell you're gaining weight, but the next day you want to wear your trouser. It's really tight. It can't enter. It means growth is taking place. There are days you meet what you were running away from. You just discover that you are not scared anymore. Boldness is infused inside you. When was it infused? You didn't know, but it was that Sunday. When you were so unassuming, you thought it was just a talk, but something was coming. Ay, 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 ay. As the truth was coming, you believed it and you were changed. You were changed into a prosperous man. Paul said, how bait we speak the word of God in the wisdom, not of men, but in the wisdom which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with comp uh, spiritual things. He says, we speak things. We are speaking to you. You as we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we infuse. Give me 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2. Amplified. So cleansing is taking place. You don't know when the change take place. You were just there, but something was happening. Like right now, something is happening. Something is happening. In no time you discover yourself bold. In no time you discover yourself loving. In no time you discover yourself forgiving. In no time you discover yourself enjoying the things of God. When you take the Bible, you are reading it. You are excited. You are full of joy. Before you were sleeping when you take hold of it. But now something happened. Why? Because truth was coming to you. Truth changed you. Can I have Second Timothy 2 verse 2? Amplified. We got to end here. What does he say? And the instructions which you have heard from me along with many witnesses transmit. So when we get to a point where the word is spoken, there's transmission. I said there's transmission. So be in a place where the truth is spoken. Because 
truth transmit the reality of what he talks about. The truth transmitted new life into you. The truth transmitted the Holy Ghost into you. So health is transmitted. Money is transmitted. Right now, you can live with an EFT of a spiritual transmission. Proof of transmission is a complete change. So as you subject yourself to ministration of the spirits, the truth blesses you. The truth uplifts you. The truth makes you grow. The truth makes you strong. The truth will make you laugh. The truth will make you walk in love. Can you shout amen somebody? The truth will make you walk and talk like Christ. Can you shout amen somebody? The truth will promote you. The truth will make you promote others around you. Can you shout amen somebody? The truth doesn't bring confusion. The truth will bring peace in your heart. Can you shout amen somebody? The truth removes bitterness. And it promotes a flowing and a growing together. I see truth will produce prosperity. So when we say receive, there is money coming to you. As much as you receive the Holy Ghost through talk, you receive prosperity through talk. You receive the spirit of success as the word was spoken to you. We speak health in your body. The reality of his word is coming to you. You receive health, you receive strength, you receive peace, you receive joy, you receive prosperity. These are not meetings of just meeting. There is a transmission. The same way you receive the Holy Ghost when the truth was spoken. That's the same way you receive life. That's the same way you receive strength. That's the same way you receive encouragement. Every day you listen to pastor, you are edified, you are lifted, you are promoted, you grow. I say you grow. Say when I listen to pastor, I grow, I grow. The more I listen, the more I grow. The more I listen, the more I grow. Because there's transmission. I say there's transmission. I say there's transmission. Oh, hallelujah. Stand up and worship him right now. Stand up and worship him right now. I say give him worship. Give him worship. Give him worship. Everybody stand up and worship him. Man basale barabashata. Oh, truth is coming. Every time it comes, whatever the context of discussion, I receive life. I receive. Oh, truth. I say truth. Go ahead and worship it. Raise those hands and say, All I want to hear is truth. All I see is truth. No lies for me. It's too costly to hear lies. So next time people want to say, hey, have you heard? Say, ah, 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 ah. Stay with your devils. I want peace. I say peace. Let me give you an example. Sometimes the easiest way to know whether what you heard is truth is the state you stay in after you are told what you are told. If it troubles you, it was not truth. Worship him.